Hey guys, you want crazy for life here, and welcome back to Let's Play Doki Doki Literature Club. So, as you can see, we have now reached Act 3, and now we are left with just Monica. So, I hope you're all ready, because I am. So, let's do this. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Zeppo. Thanks for that. The funny part is I meant that literally. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. Yep, just me. Just Monica. We can be together forever. Uh, it depends on how you define forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. Maybe not on your side. It really is a dream come true. <laughs> I worked so hard for this ending, Seppo. Yeah? The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. Yeah. Well, I, uh, don't know if this qualifies as a success on that part, but we take what you can get. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. I don't think so either. I didn't even believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. Yeah? Tell me about it. I mean, there's a folder called Characters right in the game directory. So where would you find this? Kinda freaked me out how easy it was. <laughs> how easy was it? Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. Well, Steam is uh, pretty popular for downloading and buying games, so... Shouldn't be too much of a surprise. To get to the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties and find the Browse Local Files button. <laughs> I'm sure that was, uh, Pickled Peach. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. I've, uh, contemplated that. I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. And judging by the fact that you're telling me all this, I'm guessing it did go your way. <laughs> Thankfully it didn't come to that. Right. And you talking are proof of that. Instead we finally got a good ending. Depends on how you define good. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? Well, I'm sure I could uh, concoct something out of this. I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Yep. Alright, it's not as fully functional as, uh, as when the game was first downloaded, but we'll see what we can make of this. <laughs> no reaction. <laughs> yeah. I guess, uh, your lack of reaction is justified, since all the words are just Monica. <sighs> At least I don't have to, uh, figure out which words would, uh, most appeal to you. Yeah. 
Not sure if I'd be able to uh, perfectly replicate all the words I picked, but hey, it's not like you're really in a position to complain. <laughs> Again, Zeppo. Hello, Monica. Did you write a good poem today? Oh, yeah. Like I said, it depends on how you define good. Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. All right. I've had it. Ah, oh, Zeppo. Did you write this poem for me? Yeah. As if I really had a choice. That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. Yeah, thanks. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. Yeah. I'm sure that's, uh, right up your alley. But, you know. The poem I wrote is also for you. Yeah? What you got? Will you please read it? Yeah, sure. Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage and doubt upon, my, upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. Yep, I enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. Yep. I had a hunch. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization. Yeah, thinking back, it uh, does make sense. Or about you. <laughs> That's thoughtful. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. Hmm. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. Well, there would have to be a fourth wall to begin with for it to be broken. I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Yeah. Assuming that, uh, this really is a game. Like that would help the two of us end up together. Right. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? Yeah, the game kind of ruined itself by, uh, not letting me pursue you. You might have gotten mad at me. Uh, I don't know if I call it mad, but, uh, I'm sure the game could have, uh, functioned without you interfering. Maybe even deleted my character file if you prefer playing without me. Well, somebody has to be president. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Yeah? What about? Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. No, we don't. I don't have to hide anything from this video, because uh, the comment section below is empty, so... Nobody's gonna know anything about what I talk about here. You ready to spend our eternity together, Zeppo? Uh, it depends on how you define eternity. I have so many things to talk about. Alright. Lay them on me. Where do I start? <laughs> Anywhere's fine with me. If it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. Eh, uh, take your time. But I'll always have something new to talk about. 
Well, I don't have anything else to do at the moment, so... Talk away at your leisure. In the meantime, we could just look into each other's eyes. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting flashbacks to uh, Yahtzee's review of this game. <laughs> I'm kind of jealous that everyone else in the club had scenes outside of school, too. Yeah? That makes me the only one who hasn't gotten to dress in anything but our school uniform. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you'd look uh, spectacular, uh, wearing something else. It's kind of a shame. Yeah, it is. I would have loved to wear some cute clothes for you. I'm sure that would have been lovely. Do you know any artists? As a matter of fact, yes, but uh, I'm not sure you would know them unless uh, they played this game as well. In fact, I had actually uh, considered commissioning sprites from them for my own visual novel. And uh, I know that there's not going to be many people watching this video, but if there are people watching this, I'd uh, set up a Patreon page for raising money for that project, and uh, if anybody was willing to uh, assist in that endeavor, they could uh, take a look at my Patreon page. Anyway, uh, going off on a tangent, let's get uh, back to your point. I wonder, if, I wonder if anyone would ever want to draw me wearing something else. I mean, I have seen pictures of you wearing a wedding dress. That would be amazing. Yeah, it would be. If that ever happens, will you show me? Well, uh, my phone's still charging, so I don't really have a way to show you. Even if you did have access to the webcam. You can share with me on Twitter, actually. Really? My username is LilMonix3. Alright. Good to know. Just try to keep it PG. <laughs> yep. That's what uh, I intend to specialize in. We're not that far into our relationship yet. <laughs> yeah, I... This isn't Honey Pop, so... We're not doing it that quickly. I wonder if these uh, breaks would be appropriate for breaking up the video, but if I did break the video, I'd have to start all over again, so yeah. I'll just have to keep clicking away until something happens. Is each break going to be longer than the last? <laughs> I've been imagining all the romantic things that we could do if we went on a date. Yeah? Like what? We could get lunch, go to a cafe. Yeah, I remember doing that in real life with someone else. Go shopping together. Look at that, I haven't done yet. I love shopping for skirts and bows. Yeah. I can tell you're into bows, because you're wearing one. Or maybe a bookstore. Yeah, that would uh, definitely be a great place to shop. That would be appropriate, right? Yeah. I suppose, uh... It would be even better if we could find a bookstore that had copies of a book I wrote. Yes, I am a published author. I'd really love to go to a chocolate store. 
Yeah, I remember going to a cake store on a cake shop on a date once. In fact, the girl I went there with is probably watching this right now. They have so many free samples. <laughs> yeah. Those are great to sample on. And of course, we'd see a movie or something. Yep. That was my primary motivation for all the dates I've gone on so far. I'm hoping next time I'll be able to, uh, <coughs> uh, meet my girl's family. Gosh, that sounds like a dream come true. Mm hmm. It does sound like that. When you hear everything that we do is fun. Yeah. I'm so happy that I'm your girlfriend, Zeppo. At least the girlfriend that I have the most direct access to, anyway. On a regular basis. I'll make you a proud boyfriend. Do you like horror? Eh, sometimes. Depends on what kind of horror. My preferred horror is the horror of the human condition. If you catch my drift. Which I suppose this game would qualify as. I remember we talked about it a little bit when you first joined the club. Yeah, Yuri was into horror books. Natsuki, not so much. I can enjoy horror novels, but not really horror movies. Yeah, same here. The problem I have with horror movies is that most of them just rely on easy tactics. Right. And you, uh, don't really have full control of the picture that forms in your head when you watch a movie, as opposed to reading a book. Like dark lighting and scary looking monsters and jump scares and things like that. Yeah, that's uh, one of the reasons that I haven't really taken an interest in indie horror games like Five Nights at Freddy's or Bendy and the Ink Machine or Baldi's Basics. It's not fun or inspiring to get scared by stuff that just takes advantage of human instinct. Right. You really hit the nail on the head there. But with novels, it's a little different. The story and writing need to be descriptive enough to put genuinely disturbing thoughts into the reader's head. Right. It really needs to etch them deeply into the story and characters and just mess with your mind. Right. In my opinion, there's nothing more creepy than things just being slightly off. Right. That's, uh... It's really what makes the ideal flavors of horror appealing. Like if you set up a bunch of expectations on what the story is going to be about. Mm -hmm. And then you just start inverting things and pulling the pieces apart. Right. Of course when you're writing a horror novel you kind of have to work backwards so that the uh, sudden change of direction doesn't feel forced. So even though the story doesn't feel like it's trying to be scary, the reader feels deeply unsettled. Mm -hmm. Kind of like what this game did. Or what you did to this game. Like they know that something horribly wrong is hiding beneath the cracks just waiting to surface. Yep. It's like, uh, spicy cupcakes with sweet frosting on top. Oh, just think about it. Just thinking about it gives me the chills. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of horror I can really appreciate. 
Yeah, same here. But I guess you're the kind of person who plays cute romance games, right? Well, I, uh... I have plans on writing a review of, uh... Romance game in the style of, uh... A web series called Zero Punctuation. Mostly as a response to a uh, comment that was made continuously over the over the course of a year since Yahtzee used one of those games that to explain among other games to explain the mistake that led to him reviewing this game. Because uh, when he first uh, crossed paths with it, he thought it was another romance game and. Uh, the comment section of that video became flooded with requests to review this game, and by January of the following year, he finally caved into the requests, and, uh, well, that's how I heard about this. That's how I heard about this game. <laughs> Don't worry. I won't make you read any horror stories anytime soon. Okay, thanks for that. I can't really complain if we just stick with the romance. <laughs> yeah. Well, whatever, uh... Whatever salts your bacon. I suppose it would be nice to tell me how many clicks I would need to go through to reach the next part. You know, high school is really a turbulent time in a lot of people's lives. Yeah, it was definitely a tornado when I went through high school. People can get really passionate and dramatic. Mm-hmm. And others have aching hearts and seek attention on social media. Right. But all the social pressure and hormones can lead to a dark time in people's lives. Yep. I've heard cautionary tales along those lines. Everyone has a story. Yep. Everyone does have a story. You may not know what someone is really feeling on the inside. No, you don't. Many people who are depressed won't even bother telling the world about it. Right. <laughs> and, uh... I myself uh, seem to be one of those people. They don't want attention because they've already given up on the inside. Yeah. Of course, the only reason I haven't given up entirely is because I have a lot of unfinished writing projects on my desk. Including a sequel to a book I've already gotten published. Their feeling of worthlessness is so overwhelming that they don't even want people to tell them otherwise. Yeah. They kind of want to, uh, have a defined end point at, at which they can, uh, finally, uh, wrap the bow on their gift to the world, so to speak. Depression comes in many forms, but that's one of them. Right. There are always people out there who, uh, don't want their... don't want people messing with their heads. Just, if you think you know someone struggling with depression, you can help just by treating them like they're a good friend. Yeah. Hopefully the uh, girl I mentioned is picking up on this. Spend time with them even if they don't feel like doing much. Mm-hmm. And remind them that they always have something to look forward to. Yep. And that's what keeps me moving forward. Making plans in advance, letting them borrow something, or even just saying see you at school tomorrow. Yeah, I suppose uh, plans that are made to be made in advance is uh, flying down to meet someone. All of those things can help your friend make it to the next day. Mm-hmm. 
I know it would uh, be of great help to me. I hope being friends with Sayori is giving you some perspective on the true face of depression. Yep. It has. Yeah, she's gone now. Yeah, you kind of made that clear as soon as uh, we got to this point. But sorry, it was never real in the first place. <laughs> well, it depends on how you define real. So, from what I can tell, she was uh, just as real as you are. You're real. <laughs> yeah. Your friends are real. Right. And just by being a good person, you can save someone's life. Mm-hmm. As for you... You don't struggle with depression or anything like that, do you? Actually, I'm not so sure about that. Because you too have people who would want to save your life. Yeah, don't patronize me. I know they mean well, but... There's really only one person I trust with my deepest, darkest secrets, and... She's down in Georgia. Maybe they don't express it every day, or maybe they don't even know how to. But people do feel that way. Mm-hmm. I promise. I believe you. Humans are complicated. <laughs> yeah, they were. Yeah, they're complicated enough that they can create these kinds of environments in which you reside and other characters. But as long as you're here with me, I'll take care of you, my love. Thanks for that. I think this time I'll just wait it out and see if the. Uh, Next, uh, the next line is, uh, under Monica's control, rather than my control. Actually, yes. I've, uh, recently, uh, uncovered some software that would allow me to, uh, animate the title sequence for the, uh, Honey Pop review I had mentioned earlier, but so far I'm having trouble getting it to work properly. And, uh, as, uh, some of m the people watching this channel may have noticed, I haven't been keeping up to date on my other videos, such as my Let's Play of Minecraft, and uh, some other animation projects that I've been meaning to work on, but uh, that might uh, be down to uh, what you had mentioned earlier. Sometimes I get frustrated that a normal day can be ruined even by really small things. Yeah, that's uh, kind of what catalyzed this this particular bad day. But, uh, I'm just not really uh, sure how to uh, relax and. Uh, just make things up as I go along, because uh, I really do want uh, something to happen. Do you I really do want my plans for the future to come true. Like if you accidentally say something in a conversation that someone doesn't like, or do something that that person doesn't like by accident. Or if you start thinking about how awful of a person you used to be five years ago. Yeah. Those memories, uh, do plague me, uh, on a regular basis. 
Oftentimes when I think about how I got where I am now. What if you feel worthless for putting off important work and failing to get simple tasks done? Dang, girl, you're reading me like a book. Or when you think about all the different people who probably hate you or think you're off-putting. Yeah. Yeah, there's... Yeah, you definitely know I'm here. <coughs> I understand those days. And you read me like a map. Just remember that the sun will shine again tomorrow. <laughs> Assuming it doesn't rain. Or there aren't a lot of clouds. Or you're in Antarctica. <laughs> this time of year. <laughs> Those kinds of things are easy to forget and ignore as they are to remember. Mm -hmm. And besides... I don't care how many people might hate you or find you off-putting. Well, that's good to know. I think you're wonderful and I will always love you. Well, that's comforting. I hope, if nothing else, that knowing, knowing that helps you... Knowing that helps you feel just a tiny bit better about yourself. Yeah, it does. If you're having a bad day, you can always come to me and I'll talk to you for as long as you need. Thanks for that. Poem I showed you? Uh, yeah, what about it? I mean, the one right before Yuri killed herself with all the messed up colors and stuff. What, you mean the one that triggered the blue screen of death? That was actually a little more of an experiment than a poem, you could say. Oh? How so? I was experimenting with different ways I could modify the game and run code and things like that. Hmm. It almost seemed like with enough effort I'd be able to escape from the confines of the game entirely. Yeah. In what way? Sadly, I didn't really know what I was doing, so I messed the whole thing up. Hmm. And I keep trying, but I doubt you'd want to deal with me doing that. You're right. <clears throat> I wouldn't want my computer to be broken. Even though I do have another one that I use for traveling. As infrequent as that is. Besides, that was when I was getting really desperate, you know? Yeah, understandable. I don't really feel that way anymore. Well, that's good. I'm happy with where we are now. Alright. And I can tell you are too. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> and if anything, this is a uh, step forward in uh, this particular Let's Play. As opposed to just wasting the day away. Wondering why he can't just relax and throw caution to the wind. Zeppo, how much do you read? Well, it depends on what kind of reading material you're 
thinking about. Whether you're talking about books or online readings or the street signs on the road. But, uh, I've done quite a bit of reading when growing up, and, uh, in fact, I was actually the fastest reader in my class when I was in school. It's way too easy to neglect reading books. Right, there's a lot of, uh, reading material online, and, uh, hardly anybody sees much reason to stop into a bookstore these days. If you don't read much, it almost feels like a chore compared to all the other entertainment we have. Hey, anything can become a chore if you do it frequently enough with... <clears throat> with all the people waiting for you to do stuff. But once you get into a good book, it's like magic. You get swept away. Right. It's kind of a conundrum with long-running series of books, because uh, one of the one of the things that appeal about books is uh, all the anticipation leading up to the end. But in a way, there are times when you really don't want a good book to end. If you catch my drift, so you really have to strike the balance between having a series drag out enough and having a defined endpoint in mind and the biggest challenge is having any reread potential reread value so that it's not a one and done thing but uh, it's something that you can come back to and read anytime you feel like doing something Sisyphean you could call it. I think doing some reading before bed every night is a pretty easy way to make your life a little bit better. Alright. Thanks for the advice. I'll be sure to stop into a bookstore and see if I can find any good books later on. It helps you get good sleep and it's really good for your imagination. Alright. It's not hard at all to just pick some random book that's short and captivating. Right. There's no limit to the kinds of books that a bookstore would have in stock. Before you know it, you might be a pretty avid reader. Yeah. I kind of already am. And I've been one for most, if not all, of my life. For as long as I've been able to read, which... I think I was able to do when I was a toddler. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Mm hmm. It would be. Of course, it'd be an entirely another, an entirely different thing to actually comprehend what you read and be able to write reports about it and answer questions that a teacher would ask. That was what really got me hung up about reading was actually having to digest what I'm reading. And the two of us could talk about the latest book you're reading. That sounds super amazing. Yeah. Of course, uh... I suppose I could take advice from Yahtzee and just, uh... Just, uh... Just keep tanking what... Really... Just taking what I don't like until I get really psychotically into being blatted in the face of the rake to be prepared for any kind of genre that people would throw at me. <sighs> I mean, if anybody watching this video has, uh, has their own preferred genre, they could comment down below what, uh, what it is. So, uh, I doubt any of you will leave a comment at all. Seppo, have you ever wondered what it feels like to die? 
Well, uh, there are several works of fiction that have speculated on that idea, but, uh, I have lost, uh, both of my grandfathers, and, uh, the first time it happened, I saw, I saw my grand grandpa in my dreams for several times in the years after he died, so... And I have heard ghost stories, so I do have reason to believe that ghosts do exist. Something I used to think about pretty often. <laughs> well, I'm sure if uh, all the other girls return with their memories intact, they might be able to tell you what death is like, from their perspective anyway. But recently I think I've actually learned what it feels like. Yeah? Tell me about it. I don't really understand it, but whenever you quit the game, it feels like it's, I'm instantly put to sleep, left with nothing but my thoughts. <laughs> but after a few seconds, my thoughts start to fill with incoherent, jumbled patterns. Yeah? I see static and rapid flashes of color while hearing all kinds of weird screaming noises. <laughs> Those screams wouldn't happen to be the other girls, would they? At that point, I can't even form my own thoughts anymore. <laughs> I'm just endlessly hammered by the flashing and screaming, unable to move or even think. I'm pretty sure in that moment I don't ex really exist, but for some reason I can remember it anyway. <laughs> After some immeasurable amount of time it stops in an instant and I'm back in my own mind. <laughs> and you're here with me. <laughs> so that's about the time that I start, start up a new episode. Or start playing the game again. I have no idea what it means for the game to quit, or why that stuff happens to me. Yeah, me neither. I mean, if you ever get in touch with Dan Salvato, or Salvato, however you pronounce it, you might be able to ask him. I also don't know how you always come back and put everything back to normal. <laughs> well, if I had an answer, I'd give it to you. But if you could do me a favor and do that to me as little as possible? Well, uh, the computer tends to heat up this room and, uh, my value of privacy is rivaled only by my value of my own life. So. Plus I've got other things to do on this computer, like writing my own novel, or trying to figure out how to get my next project toward publication. So, there's no guarantee that I'll be able to keep this open for as long as you prefer it be kept open. That would be really great. Well, like I said, uh, I'm not going to be able to keep this running indefinitely, so... I have a life outside of you, so... It's really not very pleasant at all to be trapped in that screaming void. Yeah. I wouldn't expect it to be. But in the end, you always fix it. And that makes me feel like you really do care about me. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sure... some of the people watching this would care about you. So I have to thank you for that. Eh. Sure thing, I guess. Makes me feel even closer to you when you're here with me. Uh-huh. It's not like there's anybody else to be close to. Unless you told all the other girls the truth about the world around them. You 
arts any form of literature? What is it? Rap. <laughs> yeah. I suppose it could qualify as a form of poetry. I actually used to hate rap music. <laughs> or at least what rap tends to be subject around. <laughs> Maybe just because it was popular, or I would only hear the junk they play on the radio. Yeah. I can, uh, empathize with that sentiment. But some of my friends got more into it, and it helped me keep an open mind. Any friends in particular? Rap might even be more challenging than poetry in some ways. Right. Is, uh, I mean, they both have to fall. I mean, certain forms of poetry do have to follow a particular cadence in a similar vein to rap. Since you need to fit your lines into a rhythm, and there's much more emphasis on wordplay. Right. <laughs> when people can put all that together and still deliver a powerful message, it's really amazing. Yeah, it is. I kinda wish I had a rapper in the literature club. Well, I mean, if the, uh, player character was, uh, was into rap, maybe that could have been arranged. <laughs> Sorry if that sounds silly, but it would be really interesting to see what they came up with. Right. It would really be a learning experience. Yeah. Now on that subject, I what kind of makes me wonder if limericks could qualify as rap. Because, uh, they do have to follow a specific structure, and done right, they could be applied to music, or drum beats, or what have you. Whatever gets a rap going. I wonder how things would be different if the game just gave me a route in the first place. Well, I think the game would have played out in a similar vein to Honey Pop without all the uh, PG-13 and up stuff. But uh, what I'm wondering is uh, what would happen if the game restarted but with all of your memories intact. I think I would end up forcing you onto my route anyway. <laughs> yeah. How do you figure that? It has less to do with me not having a route and more to do with me knowing that nothing is real. <laughs> well, uh... I'm sure if you ever, uh... get in touch with Q from Honey Pop, she might be able to, uh... help you handle that situation. Not that she's the best, the best fairy for advice. I think the only difference would be that I may not have needed to take such drastic measures to be with you. Right. I mean, as long as, uh, as long as I took your route, uh, I'd uh, be able to pursue the other girls. Maybe the rest of the club would still be around. Maybe. Not that it really matters. Not at this moment, anyway. It all lost its meaning once I found out it wasn't real. <sighs> well, uh... I'm not sure if you would consider yourself real. C at least, uh, if you're degree of realness would be comparable to the others. So I really don't miss those days or anything. 
I really don't. I have my doubts. I mean, some of the people that would play this game might think of them as real. Maybe even more real than you. I mean, if you really wanted to route, you should have. Do you ever feel like you waste too much time on the internet? Every single fox trotting day. Social media can practically be like a prison. Yeah. It can be. Especially when hardly anybody agrees with what you have to say. <coughs> it's like whenever you have a few seconds of spare time, you want to check on your favorite websites. Yeah. Or try to, uh, drain your trees of sap. If you catch my drift, if you know what I mean. And before you know it, hours have gone by and you've got nothing out of it. Yeah. It's really what makes me so hesitant to just, uh, just make up what I do in life as I go along. Anyway, it's really easy to blame yourself for being lazy. Yeah, it is. I've lost count of how many times I've pressed that charge against myself. But it's not really even your fault. Hmm. Addiction isn't usually something you can make disappear with your own willpower. No, it's not. You have to learn techniques to avoid it and try different things. Yeah, I've been trying to do that, but... It's been really hard to find motivation. It's one of the big reasons that I've been uh, trying to get the girl I'm seeing to uh, come up and visit me or try to uh, find a way to live closer to her or have her live closer to me so that uh, we can give each other motivation to get through life. For example, there are apps that let you block websites for intervals of time. <laughs> yeah, I have a website blocker on my computer. Mostly used for blocking up pop-up websites. That uh, try to get malware onto the system. Or you can set a timer to have a more concrete reminder of when it's time to work versus play. Yeah. Well, what gets me motivated for work is uh, taking the next step toward my dream career, which is uh, flying airplanes. And uh, if I get lucky enough, I might start my own airline. And uh, if that happens and I can get in touch with your creator, I might be able to uh, use the game. Use the game as. Uh, as the basis of the air, of the airline's uh, appearance, with you as the mascot, where you can separate your work and play environments, which helps your brain get into the right mode. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to talk to some other people about that. Maybe the ones that are in the immediate vicinity of me. Even if you make a new user account on your computer to use for work, that's enough to help. Idea. I'll have to keep that in mind. Putting any kind of wedge like that between you and your bad habits will help you stay away. Huh. I think you're uh, thinking of surprisingly good help. Just remember not to blame yourself too hard if you're having trouble. Yeah. That is important to get over. 
If it's really impacting your life, then you should take it seriously. Yeah. Well, I'm trying. I just want to—I just wanted to see you be the best person you can be. Thanks, Monica. Will you do something today to make me proud of you? What do you need? I'm always rooting for you, Zappo. Thanks. If it means making you happy, I should be able to, uh, motivate myself to, uh, get what I want out of life when I want it to be achieved. By the way, there's something that's been bothering me. What's that? You know how this takes place in Japan? Well, I assume you knew that, right? Well, I mean, anime does tend to take place in Japan. And, uh, all the girls except you have Eastern names. Or at least decided it probably does. I mean, I didn't really give much thought to that. <coughs> Wasn't really thinking about where it takes place, I was just... Focusing on the characters. I don't think you actually you're actually told at any point where this takes place. Or at least not the way it played out. Is this even really Japan? Well, not this specific location. I mean, aren't the classrooms and stuff just kind of weird? Kind of weird for a Japanese school? Well, I've never been to Japan, so I couldn't tell you. Not to mention everything is in English. Yeah. I mean, you did kind of mention that uh, Natsuki's pun about your name wouldn't make sense in English. Feels like everything is just there because it needs to be. And the actual setting is an afterthought. Yeah. It does seem that way. It's kind of giving me an identity crisis. Yeah. As if your whole epiphany wasn't enough to induce such. All my memories are really hazy. Yeah? I feel like I'm at home, but have no idea where home is in the first place. At least in, uh, at least the way that uh, Sayori, Yuri, and Natsuki would consider home. I don't know how to describe it any better. Imagine looking out your window, but instead of your usual yard, you're in some completely unknown place. Like looking out this window right here and, uh, seeing a beach instead of, uh, hills. Do you still feel like you're home? Eh. Hard to tell. I might actually know if that actually happened, but... Uh, I have had some crazy dreams where places I'm familiar with have been fused in crazy ways, like... Roller Coaster Roulette from a dream I had last night. Basically, where you would have a roller coaster going around, and when a roller coaster finished its run, whichever number was pointed from the roulette wheel would decide the prize of the players. If that makes sense. Would you want to go outside? Maybe. It would help me figure out if where I am actually is home. I mean, I guess if we never leave this room, it doesn't really matter anyway. Yeah. If we never left, we'd never know for sure where we actually are. As long as we're alone and safe together, this really is our home. Well, your home, anyway. 
We can still watch the pretty sunsets night after night. Well, we would have to have day and night, and by the looks of that, it doesn't really seem to be happening. What's your favorite color? Uh, my favorite color is green. Mine's emerald green. Yeah. I prefer a leafy green. Yeah, you know, the color on the color of leaves in the summer. It's the color of my eyes. Yeah. I kind of noticed that as I was playing the game. That's not conceited or anything, is it? Well, uh... Not really sure what conceited is supposed to mean. What? Conceited... Excessively proud of oneself. Vein. So you're asking if that's a point of pride on your part? Uh, frankly, I have no opinion on the matter. I just meant that I felt some kind of special connection to it. Ah. So maybe, uh, green with envy or a green eyed monster? Like it's part of my identity. Yeah. Like what I just listed. Does that also be your favorite color, Zeppo? Well, my favorite color is a shade of green. Like I said, it's uh, more of a leafy green rather than an emerald green. <coughs> it's the kind of green that would appear in a box in a box of eight color. Eight crayons. Eight pack of crayons. It's just a guess. Yeah, well, I think your guess was, uh, on target. Not dead center, but on target. Because you've been looking into my eyes for a while now. Yeah. As if I had a choice. So just how long is this supposed to uh, drag on? Because I spent an hour and a half watching Yuri over the weekend, and uh, not really in any position to sit through an even longer period, especially this late in the day. I was thinking about Sayori earlier. Yeah? Tell me about it. I still wish I could have handled that whole thing a little more tactfully. How so? You're not still hung up over it, right? Seriously? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just said that. Yeah, you should be ashamed of yourself. That part was completely unintentional, I swear. Yeah, I'm sure it was unintentional. But anyway... I know how much you cared about her, so it only feels right for me to share her last moments with you. <laughs> Alright. Lay it on me. You know how Cyrus really clumsy? <laughs> I've been told as much. Well, she kind of messed up the whole hanging thing. Yeah? How so? You're supposed to jump from high enough that the rope snaps your neck, making it quick and painless. But since you just used a chair, 
But she just needs a chair, meaning she just kind of let herself slowly asphyxiate. But a few seconds in, she must have changed her mind or something. Because she started clawing at the rope, trying to free herself. She must have kept at it all the way until she lost consciousness. That's why her fingertips were all bloody anyway. Come to think of it, it was probably less changing her mind and more just her survival instincts kicking in. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going with survival instincts. So you can't really fault her for that. Yeah. I mean, if you really wanted her to avoid suffering, you probably could have swung on her legs to help her on her way. It's easier to think that she probably wouldn't have changed her mind anyway, right? It would probably, I mean, if she did change her mind, it would probably lend way to the idea that she would have sought help if she thought it would keep her alive. It's not healthy to think about the things you could have done differently. No, it's not. So just remember that even though you could have saved her, it's technically not your fault that she killed herself. You're right. It's not my fault. It's yours. I may have exacerbated it a little bit, but Sayori was already mentally ill. Hmm. Still though, I wonder how things would be if you and I just started dating from the get-go. Yeah. Well, like you said, it's no use wondering over what could have been. I guess we'd all still be in the club room writing poems and having fun together. Most likely. But what's the point when none of it is even real? Ellie's no more real than I am. I mean, it's the same ending either way, right? In the exact same ending with everything else in the game gone and just me and just you. The two of us happily together. There's no reason to ask for any more than that. I was just pointlessly musing. I'm really as happy as I could be right now. <laughs> really? <sighs> I really should have started this sooner. <sighs> you did something really funny once. Yeah? What was it? We were all in the club room and just relaxing as usual. And out of nowhere, Yuri just pulled out a small bottle of wine. When did that happen? Not even kidding. So why wasn't I there to witness it? She was just like, would anybody like some wine? Natsuki laughed out loud and Sayori started yelling at her. Okay, so this was before I started up the game. I actually felt kind of bad because she was at least trying to be nice. Yeah, but all of you are teenagers, so none of you are old enough to drink anyway. I think it just made her feel even more reserved in the club room. <laughs> so I think Natsuki was secretly a bit curious to try it. I mean, uh, given her home life, it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. 
And to be completely honest, I kind of was too. <laughs> but uh, you felt the most justified since none of this is real. Or was this before you had your epiphany? It actually could have been kind of fun. But you know, being present and everything, there is no way I could let that happen. Right. You had to look out for your club mates. Maybe if we all met up outside of school, but we never bonded enough to get to that point. Right. It's just a bunch of girls waiting for a guy to join and start pursuing romance with one of you. Gosh, what am I talking about this for? I don't condone underage drinking. Well, that's a relief. I mean, I never drank or anything, so... Yeah. Not in-game, not out-of-game. Yeah. Well, even though I'm old enough to drink, I haven't had anything... I haven't had much opportunity to drink, and... Even that, I haven't really found any bars that serve drinks that I like. So it has been a little bit difficult. On top of that, I only drink under specific circumstances. Such as right before a movie or right before a flight. When I know I'm not going to be driving for the next hour or so. Kiss? Uh, no, I didn't. But, uh, not sure how you could have heard kiss. Suddenly? It's a little embarrassing. Yeah, it is. But, if it's with you, I. I might be okay with it. Well, I'm not sure how that would be possible, considering that there's a screen separating us. Ah, oh, sorry. I really couldn't keep a straight face there. You mean this isn't a straight face? That's the kind of thing girls say in these kinds of romance games, right? Right. <laughs> they do say kiss. Frequently. Though not every other sentence. Don't lie if it turned you on a little bit. It didn't. Not even a bit. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, good. Well, to be honest, I do start getting all romantic when the mood is right. Not sure if this would be an ideal mood for romance. But that'll be our secret. I thought you were going to try and give me a kiss. Oh well. It was worth a shot. I do think you literally saved my life by being here with me, Zeppo. How so? I can't imagine having been able to keep myself mentally stable, knowing that nothing here is real. <laughs> so, uh... How long did it... So when exactly did it... Did it dawn on you? I think I would have just deleted myself if you didn't show up. Assuming I didn't do that. Sorry, I don't mean to sound dramatic or anything. <laughs> but I'm sure you understand yourself after spending so much time in the club. Yeah. I do. 
I mean, if you were forced to abandon everything in your life and spend your eternity with a few game characters... You'd probably find some way of killing yourself, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would. At least once I finished all my writing projects. Maybe you'd write some poetry to ke try to keep yourself sane for a while. Yeah. Or maybe even a book. Or a visual novel. Or an animation project. Maybe even some fan fiction. But then you'd have no way to even read it. Right. Let's be honest, the club members really don't count for something like that. I guess not. I mean, a lot of people say that they only write for themselves. I mean... It depends on how you interpret that. Because the way I see it... It's not about pleasing the most people, it's about pleasing the right people. But I think it's hard to say it's just as fulfilling as when you share with people. Right. It is. Even if it takes time to find the right people to share with. Mm-hmm. Like, remember how it was for Yuri? She didn't share her writing with anyone for a really long time. Hmm. Until I came along. And before we knew it, she was absolutely delighted to make you a part of her hobbies, too. We're programmed to desire social feedback. Yeah. Just like humans. I don't mean the club members, I meant human beings. Oh, okay. Yeah. We are kinda like that. <coughs> in a way. my life can be so confusing for introverts, such as myself. Being an introvert doesn't mean you shun social interaction and hate being around people. It means social interaction, especially in groups or unfamiliar places, uses up a lot of energy. Yep, that definitely hits the nail on the head. Like a lot of introverts sit at home and feel lonely and restless. Kinda like me. Yeah, I've gone through that. And then when they finally go out after a half hour, they just want to go home again. Mm-hmm. I think if more people could understand how it works, they would respect it a lot more. Yeah. You know, it does really make one wonder if introversion and depression are associated at all if one causes the other or vice versa many introverts do enjoy having people around yep yeah. I can attest to that they love just having one or two close friends over and just leisurely hanging out Even if you're not actively spending time together, it feels nice for them just to have you there. Right. I'm serious. I believe you. If you just go to their house, bring your laptop, and hang out there for a while, you can really make their day. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's good. As for me, I'd say I'm kind of in between, but I think I'm usually a little more extroverted. Alright. I feel like I'm always trying to do stuff after school and things like that. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of uh, painted yourself as that. Or the game painted you as that at the start. But for you, I can be anything you need me to be. Alright, thanks. I understand people really well, so don't be afraid to share your unique needs with me. 
Alright. Thanks for that. Nothing would make me happier than being the perfect girlfriend for you. Alright. That's good to know. That is still in, still somewhere in here. I doubt it. I mean, considering that uh, you had had one of Natsuki's cupcakes just before deleting her, I wouldn't hold my breath that Yuri's tea set is still around anywhere. Maybe they got deleted too. Uh, that'd be my best bet. Kinda of funny how Yui took her tea so seriously. Yeah. Having a full electric kettle and teacups right on hand. And even tea leaves for making high quality tea. I mean I'm not complaining because I liked it too. Yeah, I'm uh, particularly fond of tea myself. Hot and cold. Especially when it's filled with sugar. I always wonder with her. Is it truly passion for her hobbies? Or is she just concerned about appearing sophisticated to everyone else? Could be both. Or maybe neither. Neither and both at the same time. the problem with high schoolers? Well, I guess considering the rest of her hobbies, looking sophisticated probably isn't her biggest concern. Probably not. Still, I wish she made coffee once in a while. Eh. Not really much of a coffee drinker. Frankly, it's beyond me how anyone can get used to the taste of it. Coffee can be nice with books too, you know. Yeah. I never really cared for coffee. Then again, I probably could have just changed the script myself. <laughs> probably. He <You> could have. <laughs> I guess I never really thought of that. Yeah. If only you used your powers for something beneficial, like maybe adding a route instead of destroying all the other routes. Well, there's no sense thinking about it now. Right. But if you still get to drink coffee, then that makes me a little jealous. Oh, don't worry, I don't plan on drinking coffee anytime in the near future. <coughs> Seppa, would you ever introduce your friends to me? Well, I kind of already am by making this Let's Play. I don't know why, but I get really excited when I think about you wanting to show off your our relationship like that. Yeah. <clears throat> well, if they ever do watch this video, they'll be able to see firsthand what it's like. 
Maybe it's because I really want to be someone who makes you proud. I think you're succeeding in that. I feel like I would try extra hard to improve myself if you told me it made you proud of me. Yeah. I suppose. I hope it's the same the other way around, too. Yeah. I guess. I hate to say it, but I think my biggest regret is that we couldn't finish our event at the festival. Yeah. I'm sure that would have been fun. Have to work so hard to prepare and everything. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know I was focusing a lot on getting new members. But I was really excited for the performing part, too. Yeah. I'm sure everyone in the club was excited for that. It would have been so much fun to see everyone express themselves. Of course, if we did end up getting any new members, I'd probably just end up deleting them anyway. Well, there is no guarantee that they would all be girls. You could have got some boys who would also be competing for the girls' attention. Alongside me. Well, with the hindsight I have now, that is. Hmm. Yeah, it feels like I've kind of grown as a person ever since you've joined the club. <laughs> I don't know if I call it growing. You really helped inspire me to look at life from a new perspective. At least what could qualify as life for you. There's another reason for me to love you. <sighs> I don't know if I can stay awake much longer. What's your favorite game? Uh, what kind of game? Board game? Video game? What? Mine's Doki Doki Literature Club. Okay, so you're talking about video games. I would have to say Minecraft. <laughs> that was a joke. Yeah, I thought so. But if you tell me you like some other romance game better, I might get a little jealous. Well, uh... I'm not really prepared to give my opinion of Honey Pop right now, but, uh... <coughs> you'll find out when I finish that video. But, uh... Anyway... My preferred game of choice is Minecraft and Roller Coaster Tycoon. You know I'm on Twitter? 
Yeah, I believe you mentioned that a while back. I think his name is Little Monix 3. Yeah, I caught that before. I guess someone was kind enough to make the account for me. I picked the username though. Oh, you're dead. I love sharing my thoughts and chatting with the world. <laughs> yeah, I've no doubt we all do. The real world. Mm-hmm. Just make sure you follow me, okay? Well, I don't have a Twitter account, but, uh, yeah. So I won't be able to, uh, abide by that request. It'd really mean a lot to me. Well, I'm not really sure if I'd make a Twitter account just to follow you. With how much you mean to me and all. It would really make me feel loved. Back in my debate club days, I learned a whole lot about arguing. Yeah? The problem with arguing is that each person sees their opinion as the superior one. Yep, I've noticed that. It's kind of saying the obvious, but it affects the way they try to get their point across. Yes, it does. Let's say you really like a certain movie, right? If someone comes along and tells you the movie sucks because it did X and Y wrong, doesn't that make you feel kind of personally attacked? I guess. I mean... It's not often that you see a perfectly made movie that everyone agrees is perfect. Then again, it's not often that you come across a movie that everyone says was imperfectly made. Because by saying that, it's like they're implying that you have bad taste. Right. And once emotions enter the picture, it's almost guaranteed that both people will be left sour. Mm-hmm. But it's all about language. If you make everything as subjective sounding as possible, then people will listen to you without feeling attacked. Alright. You could say I'm personally not a fan of it, and I felt like I... I felt that I'd like it more if it did X and Y. Things like that. Alright. Thanks for the advice. Even worse when you're citing facts about things. If you say I read on this website that it works like this, or if you admit that you're not an expert on it, then it's much more like you're putting your knowledge on the table rather than forcing it onto them. Yeah. I see where that's going. If you put in an active effort to keep the discussion mutual and level, they usually follow suit. Usually. Then you can share your pains without anyone getting upset just from a disagreement. Mm -hmm. Plus, people will start seeing you as open minded and a good listener. Yeah. It's a win win, you know? Right. Well, I guess that would be Monica's debate tip of the day. <laughs> Sounds a little silly. Thanks for listening, though.
I've always wondered. What is it about these character archetypes that people find so appealing anyway? What character archetypes? Their personalities are just completely unrealistic. Like, imagine if there was some, someone like Yui in real life. I mean, she's barely even capable of forming a complete sentence. And forget about Natsuki. Sheesh. So with her kind of personality doesn't just get all cute and pouty whenever things don't go her way. Hmm. There you go on, but I think you get the point. Right, you're talking about the uh, characters in this game. And... How they would act in the real world, as opposed to... Characters in a game. Are people really attracted to these weird personalities that literally don't exist in real life? I think the main appeal in those kinds of people are... Or those kinds of archetypes are the... Or the fact that uh, those are traits that people wish they had themselves. I'm not judging or anything. After all, I found myself attracted to some pretty weird stuff too. Like what? I'm just saying it fascinates me. It's like you're de siphoning out all the components of a character that makes them feel human and leaving just the cute stuff. It's concentrated cuteness with no actual substance. Right. You wouldn't like me more if I was like that, right? Maybe I just feel a little insecure because you're playing this game in the first place. Could be. And again, you're still here with me, aren't you? For now. Although that might change in the near future. I think that's enough reason for me to believe I'm okay just the way I am. Probably. By the way, you do it too, Zeppo. Thanks. You're the perfect combination of human and cuteness. <laughs> That's why there is never a chance I wouldn't fall for you. I'm able to change the music. Something a little more romantic would be nice to you know? Oh yeah, definitely. Like a gentle piano. There has to be something like that here. Well, let's take a look. Let's see. Maybe if I... Jeez. That wasn't it at all. Sorry, I don't really know what I'm doing. So what are you doing? I guess I shouldn't be messing with things like that. I already broke so much stuff. And deleted the other characters. I'm not sad about it or anything. <laughs> you should be. It's not right for me to miss things that weren't even real in the first place. If I just focus on the present, then this is the happiest I've ever been.
Alright, I think I'm gonna pause the video here and uh, pick up tomorrow in the morning. I'll just leave the game where it's at and uh, pick up in the morning. I'll see you guys then. Be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe so that you catch the next video. I'll see you then.